Wax guy, what's up, man? Man, what's the deal, man? Back fucking with views from the arch, man. Oh, man, it's been a little minute, man. It's been a little minute, man. When was that last interview? That was, that was, shit was like two years ago. I think. Damn. 2021. You were the, the first person I interviewed from Kansas City. You were the first person I ever interviewed from Kansas City, man. That's all right. So it's good, you know, running back full stuff, we right back there. Damn, they still going. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What you been up to, though? Man, <coughs> I'm in a situation right now. <laughs> House or is this shit? So I've been kind of sitting back. I've been, I ain't been on the scene, but I still been working. Like I got, shit, what? Three projects I've dropped in the last three months. Yeah, so you be, you be kind of like with ducked off. I be like that anyway. I be if it ain't no money involved, I don't go out and kick it for real. I don't do all that shit around here. I be gone if I can. I have been on lockdown, so I ain't been at ten or nothing. I've been stuck in this bit. <laughs> but nah, yeah, like shit. I'm saying like for the music though, like music. Nah, I've been dropping shit videos, that's the only thing though. Yeah, that's what I'm, but I see you dropping with the P World too. Yeah, the P World too, I just dropped that members only with me and FA. Uh, and then the other joint project was with um Sax. Yeah, that's my little brother, man, RP him, that little nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I've been on house for since the week that shit happened. <laughs> that's crazy. Damn, so I dropped that on house arrest. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah, what I say. You, I that was on house arrest. Yeah, yeah. I only oh, did like two videos since I've been on House Arrest though. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, like you say you get a little stuff in a little situation. I know it's probably still like something open or something that's going on right now. It's some stage shit. This shit minor. Yeah, yeah. I look at it as minor. I'd have been to the the other way. So that shit way more serious than like this stage shit. But it's still a headache right now dealing with it. And they can't see his kids and that shit right now. So for real, it's, it's fucked up. But we dealing with it, as you know. Most definitely, most definitely. Now, um, like I said, I know you can't really too much speak on it, but, um... <clears throat> on my case? Yeah. I, can, I mean, you know, I ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't too, it ain't too much on it. I don't know a case by myself. This shit some simple shit, like some, uh... The reason I can't see my kids is because this shit got, like, child endangerment shit and some bullshit. Motherfuckers just say, you know, bitter, bitter bitches type shit. Like, right, <laughs> them type of shit yeah, like, yeah, motherfuckers, yeah, this shit stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, outside of that though, shit. outside of that, you just brought up some, brought some, it reminded me of something. You said you've been to the feds before. I seen with that back in 2020, 2020, goddamn me. You, um, you actually sued the public defense? Man, I was suing them. Because the price of the wrongful incarceration shit, but they so cold, bro. Like, uh, the fit, you know, with the feds, like it's certain shit, like the judge and the prosecutor already granted immunity, so that means they can't take fault for nothing that's wrongfully done or going on with the case. So, for out the gate, like my lawyer was at fault for it, like she should have seen that I wasn't ever feeling this shit out the gate, but along the trial with me suing them and shit, we putting in the amounts and shit they owe and all this, they trying to come up to an agreement on prices and shit. They, a law came in effect that made it retroactive to where the public defenders and shit. Ain't even uh, they granted immunity now, so it's like, mm. who was it to blame? Like, oh, they like you right? You ain't supposed to be here, but who fought? <laughs> like, nigga, yeah, who you gonna sue? Like, yeah, it's a community. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, damn. I'm like, y'all cold. Y'all just said, nigga, yeah, like you wasn't supposed to be here, but all right, we we'll holler at so you. So basically, if nothing, you just kick me out. Yeah. Like, we we'll holler at you, but I already did all the time. As so. far as like um, even like responding to your record, ain't none of that. In my who? I guess like getting taking that shit off your record. No, nah, but that like nah, it's off my record. Okay, yeah, okay. I, like it, it didn't show on there. Like I ain't never been to the feds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some shit like my shit case law. Like a motherfucker they... can beat their case off of my shit. Uh huh. Like you know when niggas be in there, like man, I gotta look up these cases to see who what. Like my case is one that they can pull up. Like winners versus the government, and nigga that'll help you beat your case if you in a similar situation. My shit was a felon in possession of a firearm, shit like that. I was on probation, but I had never served a day in jail. I was on probation for weed before my shit, so. Yeah. On weed probation, so, got caught with a gun. Lawyer just, like, shit, you want 30, 36 months? I'm like, shit, if they give me 30 months, I'll take that shit, get out of their way. Yeah. I'm on probation, got caught with my gun, so my mom, like, you're so young, I'm thinking, like, shit, you're a fella. So you like, think shit. you can fuck it, you're gonna lock him You get in there learning and shit, you like, nah, nigga, this shit go different. They, they, they wording and shit, fuck their own shit up, for yeah, real, right. so. It's basically, it's said, basically, know your laws, man. Know your, know laws. your laws. If you in anything, know your laws. If you scamming, you got to know what you facing with what you doing. 
and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Even with simple pullovers. Know your law, niggas be pulling over, letting the police do whatever. You know what the fuck they can and can't do to you. Now, how you feel about the um, Kansas City music scene right now? It's making an impact, I feel. But I couldn't even lie to you. Since I've been in the house, my partner just asked me the other day. He's like, who hiding who in the city right now? I'm like, shit, I ain't been on the scene, but from just looking at it, I couldn't I couldn't even, like, pimple. He's like, if you was to tell, like, if you was on the phone with Gotti or somebody telling him who to sign from the city, who got it right now, who would you tell? I started thinking, I said, man, I'm like, niggas is hard. It's hella niggas hard, but to stamp a nigga like he him right now, I'm like, ain't nobody giving me that. Ain't nobody giving me that. Ain't nobody dropping consistently. Ain't nobody... Like, I fuck with a little CTB Bino though. Like, with yeah. the young niggas, I fuck with like his music. I fuck with his hustle. He put his own shows together. Cop Like, there's some young niggas that's really that's putting on, but they don't even get spoke of because the politics that our city more political. They, they more in the street. Uh -huh. They like, which one of the street niggas on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't in a shoot up shit, but they they hot with what they doing. Shout out to CTB and Kai. Yeah, shout out to them. Kai been doing this thing though. Yeah, yeah. CTB Bino, he like. He caught my ear. I've been tapped in with him. I actually had pulled up. Like when I first tapped in with him on his thing, he probably, he already knew who I was because he wrote me like, appreciate that, Brody, and shit like that. And he had a show that weekend. He didn't even know. I hit him. I'm like, man, I'm about to come see this shit in person. <laughs> I pulled up to his show. He like, ah, oh, cuz a real nigga like that. Oh, my head, I pulled up with my girl. I pulled up like just front row. I just think a show and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I want to see it because you got presence. Like, nigga, your shit moving. And I seen him perform where he was doing his thing. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. He know how to control the crowd. He gonna get. The, he gonna get. He gonna get through that motherfucker. Yeah, I, tapped in, I tapped in with those before. I definitely shout out to CTB. B. It's young niggas though. Look, K Rock for Nick Mill. It's from my way. They they definitely turn. But that's the street. You know what I'm saying? They they got too much going on. Where I just try to stay. Like I'm older. I be trying to like. I, I see it, but it'd be like confusing to me. So I'd be like, I ain't about to. Stay out the way. Yeah, I ain't. You know, you can't jump on songs with certain things because they be like. Oh, you did a song with my ops and whoop up and you did a song. I'll, like, nigga, y'all all from the same hood and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna say something about that. Like, I see, like, speaking of that type of topic, you went on uh, Two Gun Key. That is, <laughs> oh, that's uh, crazy. Trap House Junkies, man. Trap House Junkies. Yeah, how they, how they, they run us to Jail House Fiends. Need a filter on your screen and look at all the shit I seen. Now, that shit crazy, though. It shit crazy all the way around, man. That's, you know. I look at it different though, like we grown, we grown, got kids, like niggas don't even know me and his, my oldest son and his his daughter is in the same class, they've been going to school together for like four, five years, they whole element, they friends, like call each other on the phone while they in the car and shit, he probably riding with her daddy, he riding with his daddy, like that shit, like you know what I'm saying, I look at that shit different, like niggas ain't had no issues, niggas ain't, like I ain't, I to keep it going, I ain't been shot at in so long, you know, some shit like that, like this shit, niggas still talk about that shit in the music, cause this is what they went through and shit like that, but right now where niggas stand, niggas got businesses for real, niggas really be pulling up to, niggas got properties and all type of shit, tow trucks, like, so you know what I'm saying, niggas moving through this motherfucker, take care of business daily, so that don't be my focus for real, and then when, when bro reached out, like niggas know he hard, like you know what I'm saying, niggas been, Knowing he horses back then, like when I wasn't even rapping, that nigga was doing his thing, so it's like shit. I'm like shit, yeah, that let me know that I was actually doing something because he just hit like a million views and dropped that motherfucker. I'm like shit, that's dope as fuck that he even, you know what I'm saying? He just reached the accolade and he, like shit, I'm about to drop this motherfucker with you. Like, nigga, yeah, that's like, nigga, what? That's dope. Probably caught you by surprise. That nigga hit a million, you ain't, I ain't touched close to a million. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, nigga hit a million. He focused on him. He trying to grow that. Like, that nigga's like, shit, I'm about to drop this bitch with you on that motherfucker. I'm like, oh, they don't yeah. want that. Yeah, yeah. What, what's been the feedback from the street, though? Especially with y'all, too. You know, like you said, collaborating. That's an unexpected, you know, duo. You got the home, you know, you got the homies that's gonna call you, like, Man, why you ain't tell me woo what when this happened? Woo what you ain't even. I'm like nigga, but I'm me though, so you know I don't be explaining this shit. They like niggas don't even like for real to keep it G. Like niggas don't be questioning my movements like that. They might do it with within them when I ain't around, but niggas don't be like why you. Niggas don't just be like shit cause did what he did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it had to be a reason behind it. He don't move goofy, so yeah. yeah. 
you think there's like a step before like I know y'all I can't sit Kansas City kinda of, um support each other as a whole. But I'm no, saying they don't. I'm, I'm saying what as far as with the politics though. You think they kinda of like you know can't light see, things up. I support they people. That's really? crazy. They will dick out the next nigga from the next nigga that's on your same level. I swear to God, I could be a nigga from Cali. He get the same views, same everything as me. But here, he'll be like God. Niggas will be panning for features and everything. You be like, cuz you just paid whoop wop for a feature? Like, dude, a dope head for real. Like, I, met, I know this nigga. Like, but you won't pay me for a feature, like, type shit. Cuz I'm from your city, I guess, you know. I don't know. You right dude. about that, man. You right that about that. That shit be weird as fuck. Then the DJs be trying to tax niggas with y'all dick lick. Other niggas and play they shit all day long for free. These niggas ain't paying y'all. What the fuck I'm about to pay y'all at home for? Y'all stupid as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck, nigga Dirk ain't never reached out to you niggas, paid y'all shit. Bitch, I come support y'all shit. All type of shit. Yeah, you niggas gotta pay me, too. play your shit. Bitch. Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> okay. But yeah, what you just mentioned, like, you know, you saying, well, um, you and Keith be being able to make that songs. Y'all older, you just spoke about, you know, your daughter and his son being friends. But you being on house arrest, not being able to see your kid, how is that, bro? As a father. Ooh, you know that shit there. Hey, what's crazy is we spoke about fatherhood on our first interview. Yeah. And my kids was sitting in the car in the was, interview on my mom. They was sitting there apart while people was watching them. And that's crazy. I ain't seen that in months, bro. Like, since this shit happened, because of this shit, just a bitter, like, bitter bitches type shit. But yeah, that shit different. That shit different. And emotional. I'm a, I'm I'm one of them. Like yeah, yeah, alpha yeah. male, so bro, when shit get me emotional, I'll be like, bro, that shit fucked up. Cause I don't you know, I just look at it and get like I'll be like, nigga, what? That shit piss you off. Nigga, my son that asked, he like he like he got mad on phone and then why I can't he like, why I can't come to your house? He fought. He like, why I can't come to your house? What I do? <laughs> hey, Damn. Man. I'm like, bro think he did something. Like that's crazy. Yeah, nah, that shit different. Nah, I, I definitely can relate to that, man. I, it's niggas that won't even... Nigga probably ain't talked to their kids in years, ain't this shit. My kids got good rooms in this motherfucker that live with me full time, take them to school, everything. That shit all the way different. That shit all the way different. Yeah. I've been through it. I, I got a um, daughter who I've been through something like that, like I said, situation. I don't know your situation as a whole, but you know how you fall out. Not necessarily, you know, you and your mom, mom got to break up. Or whatever. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, put the child in to keep it gay. To keep it gay, I, I just a uh, simple break there. You like you said. You know how females is. Yeah. I left my baby mama boom, with my new chick. This shit all happened. I it, I came back from Jamaica with my new chick. <laughs> like like bitter bitter. Like, like like just hate to see you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't seen my girl like, like, oh, yeah. I just still I just. Yeah. Bro, me and Slap talk about this because Slap, if you remember, Slap had a song called Real Fathers when uh -huh. he was going through the court case and me and him were like, wow. that's my brother. So I was knowing his situation back then, seeing like a nigga, real nigga, break down yeah. like cuz. Like nigga, nigga, I ain't talked to my daughter. I don't know where Man. she at type shit. Mm -hmm. Like nigga, I used to feel for him then because me and I, cause I had a kid then. So my oldest son, like same age as his, old, as his daughter, mm -hmm. I was seeing him go through that then and my son was always with me. So cuz used to be like cuz. I love, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love seeing that shit, just seeing you with your son, bro. I can't even see my daughter. Right. Now, it's like, nigga, I see exactly what the fuck. I'm like, what? I'm like, that shit different. Yeah, I just got connected. That shit daughter, different, man. bro. Man, you're going to be all right, man. You know, you, know, you know what it is, man. As long as you know what it oh, is. Oh, my kids know what it is. They know, they know what it is. all that matters, man. Yeah. 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 They know what it is. They old enough to recognize, you know. Now, um, go back to the music. Soon. Go back to the music, man. Um, we kind of spoke about that um, collab with you and Stacks. You know what? Recently, you know, the, the collab came about, you know, behind some unfortunate event that happened with him. Yeah. Did um, you see that? That that happened on live. No, I didn't see that. It was it was if, if you ever seen it where a dude got hit in his back and shit on live. When it was, uh, like some bitches and shit was fighting and the nigga and the nigga like was breaking the fight up and shit like that and they pulled up and hit him in the back type shit. It was on live, that's what fucked me up even more because I was in jail so when motherfuckers tell me, everybody seen it, they like nigga that shit was on. Like they, they like it was a bitches fighting so the people in the apartment all got they care, they on their balconies with their camera out watching it on live. Mm -hmm. He was 
breaking a fight up. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Was it out of pocket? Like, nigga, you fuck them bitches, nigga. Let them bitches fight. Like, you being Captain Sabo for real, but at the same time, you ain't no threat to this man to where he just shoots you, hit you in your back. You don't even know he got a gun. He, yeah. he hit you in your back because he more scared that if you, you know what I'm saying, you gonna trip with him. Yeah. Cause it's over. If you see it, you'll be like, I see what went on. Like, dude was really spooked to Broly. So he didn't even see, probably didn't even see him. He didn't see him. That was the whole thing. Like, he, he, bro, the bitches is trying to jump a, a, a chick. They can pull a knife out on her. Bro pulled up with her. He like, y'all not about to do that. Why she, you know what I'm saying? So he done upped them like, bitch, I better put them knives down. Like, boom. The little nigga supposed to be there with, with, on they side type shit, but he fucking with it. Like some shit, something, nigga. Hmm. End up uh, grabbing his joint and shit while bro sitting there with his joint out trying to break it, like put the knives down, dude, just start hitting him in the back type shit. And that's it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a video, so it ain't like I'm speaking on nothing. You know what I'm saying? Out of pocket. That's it, video. You can't never shoot no man in the back that don't even know you you there is a problem. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Yeah, there ain't no second. There wasn't no self defense. No, nothing. he turned himself in thinking he was by his self defense. This. <laughs> <laughs> you stay there, you turn yourself in. Yeah, I know the mom you thought you had, but you, you not. You thought, nah, you can't <laughs> shoot no man in the back, dude. Yeah, no, I just seen some of my um, video dude got charged with murder because somebody hit him in the car, but dude walked away. He just hit him oh, you can't get it. And he got out the car, walked away. No home, longer a threat to you. That's just like I know you niggas. Should, that's why I said when he hit you, you should have hit him then. That's just like I know niggas who, niggas have broken their house or nigga, you know what I'm saying, broken a nigga car. Yeah. But you catch him like, hey, get up, my They take off running. He, you can't yeah, no longer shoot, shoot that yeah. man. You should have hit. You, you should have just hit. <laughs> boom, boom. Right when you see him with his hand in the cookie jar. You should have just started hitting on his head. You, hey, you see that, hey, and he <laughs> turn around and run. He's no longer a threat to you. Yeah. You nigga kicking your house. You come around the corner with a fire. If he take off out your shit, there's no longer a threat to you. Now, if he still... Like now you, you but you should yeah, just hit him while he was in there. Yeah, <laughs> like they can't, like exactly. they say, can't be no back shots. Yeah, exactly. you gotta know the full, the full <laughs> shit. Gotta, the shit. Yeah, That's why I mean, what, like we said at the beginning, you gotta know what you into. You gotta know the laws of what you into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but um, speaking like I said, go back to the music again. You know, problem behind that huh? event. You know, unfortunate event. The P World Two. Yeah, well, you dropped the P World Two before that. P World, damn. Okay, so P yeah. World Two dropped a couple like a month before. Uh huh. To death do us part. The hundred bows. Ah oh, yeah, that C C. Listen, to death do us part project. That's one of my. Cause this all this shit happened within the same week. I went to jail on Monday. And when I went to jail on Monday, little bro, my every day. So this who you know what I'm saying, like bro. He take my wheels at night, drive me off at the house type shit. Pick me up in the morning type shit. So that shit fucked me up. I went to jail that Monday behind this shit and Wednesday. I bonded out the same day, but how the process go, they was put me on house arrest. It took them like a week to approve the home plan and shit like that. So I'm in there Monday, bonded out. This happened Wednesday. I ain't get out to the next Monday. And the little dude already turned himself in, all type of shit. Since then, this shit been going crazy. This shit been crazy. Damn. Nah, for real, this shit been crazy. That shit, how you, how you lost in your mind real quick? What the yeah, fuck? So much, so much be going on. Hell man. yeah. So much be going on. I seen, I seen you on link my boy Nico. Nico Neal from St. Louis. Oh, uh, yeah, he had tapped. Oh, he probably tapped in with me from seeing me on your shit yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. He had just, he's just randomly, uh, Wrote me in a, in a DM and it was like he was doing this shit. I watched his page and shit. I'm like, shit, I fuck with it. I see what you, you know what I'm saying? He pulled yeah, up yeah. on me. He yeah. pulled up straight in the hood too. He was on the P at the port. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, he won yeah. the one. He definitely, yeah, he definitely networked. He went, he did. Ah, oh, you fuck with him, fuck with him? I don't know him like that. I never even oh. met him. Ah, oh, damn. Y'all yeah, both from St. Louis, too. Yeah, man. I never yeah. even met him, but I know he be working, though. I be seeing his work. He know you shooting videos in the city. I ain't no rapper if I say this. So the music no videos and shit? shit. Yeah. I didn't even know he shot music videos. Yeah, that's what he do. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, he shoot I, the music videos. He just a freestyle. That's just something he just said. Pop up and do yeah, yeah, okay. But he shoot music videos. You know what I'm I know him shoot music videos. Oh, uh, yeah. But he definitely ain't one of you know, one of the ones in the city, though. Him, okay. Tori, a couple motherfuckers. TJ, a couple motherfuckers, you know. 
Alright, shit, I'm gonna tap back in and see if he's trying to go some, some video shit. Yeah. But now on the music shit that, uh, like I, like I said, that motherfucker was emotional when I did it for real because I did it that quick. Like I wanted it out. His, he died a damn near a month before his birthday and I all that shit was going on. So motherfucker was like, man, you need to drop some. You, go, you got too much shit going on. Motherfuckers like, what's up with cuz? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I put that together, but he was already working on music. So I had him, he was in the studio with me and doing his own music, but he had never put nothing out because bro, one day he like, bro, he like, I just want to wait till all the shit right before I start, you know what I'm saying, dropping this shit. I'm like, nigga, your shit, like, you got some shit you could drop. So I just took with, we agreed, you know, me and our people and shit, like, like, yeah, put that out, put that out with it, and took some of his songs away to put his shit out. And then I put it out on his birthday and shit, the month after he had passed. Got a video out of it and shit from his funeral and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, sorry for your loss, man, sorry. Oh, that shit, that shit happened. That shit be happening. It's just crazy. Yeah, I'm like, well, all this shit at once. And like I said, bro, was everywhere with me. So he with the kids with me. He had, you know, that's favorite uncle type shit. They like, yeah, they, like they fucked up about it. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's different. Yeah. You know, as we get older in life, you know, certain, certain things like that happen, though. Even like, you know, certain friends and shit like you should be cool with. Like, you should be probably like, that's my brother. You know, as you grow, you start to see, like, y'all start to, you know, go y'all in different ways in life. Definitely. Especially, I think I think it happened more in the lifestyle that we in type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit happened. Niggas ain't who, you know, who you thought they was or, or, or you might have just fucked with a nigga because he liked this. But, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You get older, that flaw shit out the window, man. Uh, any of that weird activity, all that nigga's life is too precious. And that's for real how... Majority, I'm not gonna lie. Out of out of the out of the like, what what they call the war and shit like that. Most of the niggas that I love, that I lost, nigga, that I got tatted on me or something like that. We lost from inside the the circle, like within our people type shit. On God, like nigga, most most of my shit happened right inside the circle. Like nigga, we you know what I'm saying, like on some backdoor back activity, shit, yeah, like backdoor activity, cousin. Cuz fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? They fuck with me. We from the same area, but they don't fuck with each other on some shit. So it's like shit. Cuz hit cuz, but you still fuck with cuz. Like, he ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, still, man, you just look at him, man. <laughs> you got to fall back still. Yeah. Like, like, you know, like, like, yeah, it shouldn't even happen. So shit, you just gotta fall back sometimes, but you don't pick a side in that shit. But at the same time, even I mean, man, that's even with me, I hate that, I hate that shit. Like I cut it, I quit fucking with niggas because it be situation where you might be into it with your your homie, this, you and him brothers. Y'all just don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, and other motherfuckers. And you be like, nah, I ain't even trying. Yeah, to yeah other motherfuckers start picking sides or quit cut like yeah. y'all, you know. You know, man, that shit be weird, I just rather fall back. Yeah, I rather like fuck out, like nigga. Trust, oh, no, I, can... I bet you ain't gotta choose with me. <laughs> you go yeah. about your way. I don't give a fuck. And I'm more of a you know loner anyway, bro. I like being by myself. That's when I'm being my best. Yes, I'm down here by myself, man. Oh, I've been sorry since I came. I've been going by myself. And I can't even lie. Look, <laughs> like, we done linked up with I done been in the loop. I done, I done locked my it in. <laughs> I done pot seat, just been out one night. This nigga in the club here. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like. I was about to say, um. Well, I see, you, I see you coming on that funny Marco shit. The, um, Z Herbo interview? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny Marco need to get, he know what the fuck going on. He needs to keep, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't play like that, but at the same time, like, you a man, that you let that shit <laughs> go. I was just watching his interview with Chris Brown. Like, look, it's, oh, that's the other one. But I was about to say, I was watching uh, Chris Brown interview with Marco last night. <laughs> hey, Chris, he said, why you let them light skin niggas take like that? that? <laughs> like, come on, bro. You know what the fuck going on, but you good. He good in this field. Yeah. Niggas just trying to get a reaction sometime on that motherfucker. I'm on house rest. I'll just be looking at that shit like, they ah. You know, commenting yeah. and shit on shit. Yeah. But nah, for real, the city wasn't feeling that. Like, so yeah, y'all say, yeah. what part of Kansas City are you from? Marco, I, would, I wouldn't even stand like no hood on him. He, I think he was, I wouldn't even put no hood on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
You just a Kansas City. Yeah, yeah. Kansas it's City. like Kansas City. Fuck with him. He ain't never been, in, you know, active in no activities like that. Yeah, but yeah. they fuck I, with who he is and you know what he doing, all that. And he, oh, like he still come around. Like I, I'm just good say, I seen him, or probably the first time I came. They probably like two years ago. That's the first time I came. But when I came by myself, either way, he had a show, not a show, but like a pop up. Some of you guys going on at Boulevard 816. And that's a um, store. This show, yeah, the clothing store yeah. shit. Yeah, but something going on at this, he just in there motherfucker promoting or something he was doing. There. I see that. Uh, like when, he, like when he here, he chilling. He with his people. like, nigga, I don't went to watch the game in like Grand Falloon or something. He and that motherfucker just chilling. With his people like this, and his, he doing the same. But I don't, I know his people's too, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so, hey, like, yeah, I've been out there and fuck with them niggas. And, Shit like that. So, so um, what what new projects you got coming up, man? New, new music coming up. No, we in fourth quarter right now. About to wrap the year up. I got so much shit already done, bro. I probably got like any. I, I probably got like five collab tapes done. Then just like two two solo joints that's already like the songs done put together. I got enough shit to put them together, but I actually uh. See the studio right here. So I was just, I was just uh, with the engineer right here yesterday, and he like, you need to drop it by Thanksgiving. He like, you need to make a Thanksgiving drop or something like that. And we put some shit together. We put puzzles and shit together. Shit, I got ready and about to drop like uh, the Black Sheep. That's the name of the project. Yo. You wouldn't get no features on there. It's just all you. What's crazy? It's all features. Yeah. yeah. I was Thanks looking at, I ain't even gonna lie, Thanks I was looking at, uh, cause I'm about to be dropping more, cause you know what I'm saying, I'm on house rent, so dealing with this shit, just nigga wanna get that shit out there, and my music be in the joint and shit, all type of shit. So, uh, I'm just about to be dropping some shit back to back, but now nah, I'm gonna do that on Thanksgiving, call that the Black Sheep, but it's gonna be like my first collab tape with, cause I got hella feature songs, I got songs with everybody and motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, so I'm just gonna start a, uh, like a series of, uh, of that black sheep with my features and shit, and just, you know what I'm saying? And every song probably got a feature that's gonna be on that bitch. Shit. Every song probably got a feature, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, definitely look, looking forward to hearing that, man. So you got any last words, you know, like shout out before we wrap this motherfucker up? Uh, shit, 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 shout. Views from the art shop for pulling up on a nigga for one in the house, boy. I, I ain't been out the house, so I ain't been having no type of presence, bro. He just hit me up like, shit, I'm gonna come fuck with you. I said, man, come, let's go. Like, you know? So, yeah, shout out to you, man. Shout out, shout out to the team, everything, everything, you know? Yeah. Shit like yeah. that. Black Sheep on Thanksgiving, though. Say on Thanksgiving, man. On Thanksgiving. Say shout out to I know you did you know you did the last interview, but shout out to social media just in case people don't want to follow you who don't know you. Social media, everything at Wax Gotti. Everything at Wax Gotti. Yeah, yeah, appreciate the time, Straight, man. Straight, simple, how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, appreciate your time, bro. Definitely appreciate you, man.